Okay, so as promised, I'm gonna start a review on my Larave OM02. First off, we gotta start off with the specs. So, uh, it has a solid spruce top with some bare cloth fairing. I'm not sure if you can see it near here. Um, it has mahogany back and sides with a mahogany neck, and it's also a satin finish, but the neck is sort of, you know, you can sort of see it's very smooth as I've used it for a while. So to start off with the pros for this guitar, um, I think first off the price was a good pro uh, to start off with. You know, um, as I mentioned in the uh, guitar stories video, it's, it was thirteen hundred Canadian, so it's very cheap for such such a great sounding guitar. Um, and you know, the tone, which is the second thing I thought was the pro, is um, it really uh, you know, Larve guitars they sound really great at the bottom of the line as well as the top um, and I think this guitar is a really good example um, because you know you could go as high as the 09 series and um, you know, they sound fantastic but this sounds really good too so for the cons um, you know there are a few indicators in here that sort of show the level of this guitar I guess but um, you know there are some glue marks on the fretboard and also get some uh, fret sprout during the winter um, I think in the end, it really depends on how much the wood was dried before it was constructed, and like the moisture levels uh, change, obviously in Canada with our dry winters and uh, summers. So um, I do get fresh breath during winter, but you know, like for me, it's not. I mean, it'd be. I think I do probably want to take it in to get some dressing done, but uh, it's not like a deal break for breaker for me. So. Just want to take a moment to talk about the pickups in this guitar. So I'm using uh, LR Bag Anthem pickups, which have a mic system as well as a magnetic pickup system. So uh, you can blend between the two. Uh, so I'm not sure if you can see here, but this knob right here controls the blend level between the mic and the magnetic pickup. There's a button in here uh, in between the knobs that uh, controls the phase. So you can just uh, change the phase a bit and also the master volume. And then there's a button here to check the battery, uh, which is very nice. Uh, the battery compartment is actually inside the guitar, so um, if you want to switch batteries, you have to sort of loosen the strings and get in there and whatnot. So. But yeah, I'm just going to let you listen to a couple sound clips. Um, so one take is going to be of the mic only of the LR Bag Xanthem system, uh, and then the pickup only for the magnetic pickup of the LR Bag Xanthem. And then the third clip, I'm going to be using my uh, uh, Beta 57, which is the only mic that I have uh, I'm using to record. So I'm going to use the Beta 57 uh, to let you hear what this sounds like and you can make your own decisions depending on what you like.
So you've heard uh, all three. Um, personally, I really prefer getting this mixed up with a condenser and you know 57s or whatever, what have you. But uh, live, I use the pickup system. You know, just plugging it right here, uh, and it really does wonders for me. Sometimes I do get some like resonant frequencies around the feet, and I do have to deal with that with EQ sometimes. But you know, like. Uh, for what it's worth, it's like a $400 Canadian pickup system, so it has to sound good. So I'm really trying to uh, gather some ideas on how to uh, sort of review guitars, and uh, so far what I've come up with is, does it inspire you to play it? And I think, uh, so far, I've broken it down into three categories for inspiration. So number one is the tone. Obviously, a guitar needs to sound good for you to want to play it. Uh, you know, the tone being sort of like the result, material, um, like the end goal, I guess, uh, in terms of uh, getting a, good to, a guitar to make good music. So, um, first off, it's going to be the tone, it's going to be uh, what can you get out of the guitar in the end. Secondly, um, it's going to be the feel of the guitar, uh, basically the processing, what uh, we use it for. Uh, if a guitar doesn't play well, uh, it's not going to be inspiring as one that does. Even if it sounds great, uh, you know, like the end result sounds great. So uh, it's going to be number one, uh, the tone, number two, the feel, and number three is going to be the aesthetic of the guitar. Um, I really think, I really believe that a guitar should look nice because the nicer it looks, the more reason you'll have to pick it up. So if it's nice guitar sitting on the wall or something, nice guitar just sitting there just uh, asking you to play, you're going to play it more than a guitar that looks really weird or funny or uh, dinky or something like that. So uh, those three things are going to be uh, what I rate the guitar. Uh, I think cost is going to be a different thing entirely because a lot of people pay for these three things or uh, they'll budget themselves uh, to get what they want within their budget. So I think a budget cost will be a different thing entirely and I'll talk about that later. So in the first category, uh, in terms of tone, this guitar sounds really good. Um, I think uh, you know you've just heard clips of it, um, but it really shines for what it can do. You know, um, sometimes I'm left in need, uh, or sometimes I'm left in want of a rosewood guitar. Uh, you know, just because rosewood guitars um, they bring uh, a lot more of like the spectrum. You know, the low end, the high end, a bit more definition in the high end, a bit more boominess in the low end. But for what I do, um, playing in bands and uh, putting this guitar into my mixes, um, I, I'm pretty much satisfied with it. And uh, Larave guitars, like I said before, they sound really good from the bottom to the top of the line. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for tone. Um, secondly, in terms of feel, uh, like I mentioned, the fret scrub, uh does get in the way a little bit. And also, uh, Larrave's have a very flat radius. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly the radius was, and I'll put it, I'll find it and I'll put it on the screen, but um, compared to like, say, Taylor guitars, or I used to play a Yamaha back, uh, this radius is very flat, and it's nice for, you know, soloing and whatnot, but just playing chords or playing, you know, usually play rhythm when playing in a band, so. It did get a bit getting used to, um, playing this flatter radius, but uh, yeah, that's something you might want to consider. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 for feel. Um, you know, there aren't many major issues, but I do have a couple of minor issues just on the guitar, so uh, six out of 10. For the look, um, obviously, this is a no frills guitar. Like you don't really have much except for uh, maybe a bit of the binding on the top, you can see here. Uh, there's like three ply binding, there's some binding on the neck, there's some binding around the uh, sound hole, but besides that, there's not really any frills, so I'm gonna get a four out of 10. In terms of cost, for cost, I'm sort of trying to rate the guitar sort of like on a, maybe like a $500 level. And to what I have right now, um, you know, that's why I sort of think cost should be treated separately um, because this is a guitar that's on the cheaper end for solid body guitars. So I'm gonna give this a uh, seven out of 10 for cost. Um, you do sort of lose, what did they say? 
Diminishing returns, you have diminishing returns is the more expensive guitar gets, and I really think that's true. Especially if you're looking at like guitars over maybe three thousand dollars, you look you're paying more for aesthetics than um, actual sort of performance. So, um, but that's how I'm gonna rate my this guitar. So for this value, I mean, you know, it's like a thirteen hundred dollar guitar, four hundred for the pickup. It's a very nice system to work with, and it's a very nice system to work with live and also in the studio. So that was my uh, review for uh, the Larave OM02. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but for me, uh, it's not a guitar that I'm going to sell. Cheers until the next one. See ya.